When Grace Village opened, we had a boys dorm and a girls dorm. All of the girls lived in one with their mommies and all of the boys lived in one with another set of house mommies. And I think about two years after we had been here, um, we prayed a lot and decided that the dorms were not the best way to raise our kids at Grace Village. And after a lot of research and a lot of prayer, we decided to do family style living. So now all of our kids are in four family style homes. There are two boys homes and two girls homes with mommies and poppies in each of the houses that care for them. And they function just like a little family. Um, mom and dad are in charge of the house. The kids respect them like they would any other parents. So it's really just trying to build that community of family. And I don't like to call Grace Village an orphanage because um, that's not what we are anymore. It is a family. All of our kids are kids. That's what we call them. We don't call them orphans. Our kids are thriving in it. Um, one of my favorite stories of Grace Village is we got a new kid to come live with us and he moved into the first house and he was terrified. He walked in, his heart was pounding, he was shaking, he was crying and I'm trying to figure out what can we do to help him and the two youngest boys in the first home ran up to him and grabbed his hands and said you don't have to be scared, you're not an orphan anymore, you have a family. December 2015, Evis, which is a social services in Haiti, called us and asked if we would open as a transient orphanage. Um, what that means is if Evis needs to close an orphanage down in Haiti because it's no longer safe for the children living there, that we are open to take in that whole orphanage. Um, we're one of, I think, three places in the whole country that has the ability to take in the whole orphanage at one time. And that's just really important because they're leaving a scary situation and to be able to go with people you already know and you're already comfortable with, it helps that transition a lot. We got 26 new kids in January and in September of 2016, all of them have been reunited with their biological families. And the really cool thing with that is, is that their biological families are coming to Grace Village to pick their children up, but they're leaving with a support system behind them. They get their education paid for until they graduate. They get a monthly food stipend, so everybody's being taken care of. I think a lot of the time, at the beginning in my mind, it was the kids are in the orphanage because they're not safe. They're from a place that can't take care of them. And when I saw this little girl run to her mom and dad, it just all kind of clicked in my brain that it's not because she wasn't safe with mom and dad, and it's not because mom and dad didn't love her, it's because they couldn't take care of her. So putting her in an orphanage was what they thought was the best option for her to have a good life. Um, she ended up in a not safe orphanage, which was sad, but then she moved to Grace Village where her parents got to come and find her. Um, and this mom in particular, I remember, she was, we were filling out all the paperwork for her to go home and she just started crying. And she says, you guys are giving me a second chance at my family. Um, and that's why we're doing the Stop and Go program. If our youngest kids at Grace Village can remember that we're not orphans anymore, that doesn't apply to them, it doesn't apply to the new kids that are coming in, that we're all part of this big family.